And Dop will be taking the stage for our last lightning talk of the day. All right, so um, Vlad did a talk yesterday about EZ Configurator, um, and I wanted to do a little bit of an add-on for the, the notice config stuff that um, may or may not have worked during that talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, the slide doesn't work. So oh, it's freezing in here. Uh, has anyone noticed? <laughs> like my hands are like clammy and like I can't type. It's, we need to do something about that next year, just feedback. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so this guy, uh, I gave a talk yesterday. Uh, I had a small hiccup with the notice config options uh, that may or may not have been my fault. Uh, may also have been the fault of Pacific Gas and Electric. Uh, for those of the, you who know what's going on there, um, his photo looks like a school picture. Uh, me, I'm kind of a jack of all security trades. I do a little bit of everything. I'm master of none. Uh, I've been using Bro and Zeke since 2007. Uh, I got to thank Ashish for that, getting my feet wet there. Um, I tried to get a large commercial bank to use Zeke before it was, was supported, and I didn't do that. So, uh, <laughs> so this is the current situation in, in, in Berkeley and all of California. I did steal this image, um, but I think it really kind of sets the tone for what we're dealing with. Uh, so easy to configure to recap. Uh, it's a web UI for configuring all of your Zeke cluster options. It supports multiple clusters. Um, uh, the clusters don't need to be restarted. It just happens in real time. Um, but when you have a lot, of, a lot of clusters, you don't want to have to, like, if def your environment 50 times and deal with that in Git. Um, and this is what Vlad was showing uh, yesterday for you did see it, the web UI. You can have a bunch of clusters. In the background is all the options um, that you can define and, 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 and tweak on the fly so that you don't have to, people that don't know the code can, can still tweak the options. Notice configuration. Um, I've done a lot of really messy things early on, especially at ESNet when I started. Uh, I created different alert types and lists and, and sets of things that I had to add notice action types to, um, and those were all in Git, and you had to, they were all based on redefs, and you'd, you'd remove a script, and then it would, it would break. So now um, we just have a list of actions that we support for, for this, this piece. Um, things log by default, um, ignore overrides that, um, BHR will add a BHR action. Um, we will not ever support the action email because Sam won't let me. Uh, the notice config framework, uh, it's, it's a vector, which is very important, because it, it's basically just like a firewall. It'll process your, your policies in order, first match wins. So we can have a, a white at, uh, whitelist for, for address scan, ignore it, and if that went out the whitelist, it would, it would continue on to VHR. Those are all sets, so you don't have to have an, a, a notice configuration line for every single notice type. You just add it to the set, and you're ready to go. Um, same thing for the, the actions and notes, the sources you want to match to. That's what the code looks like as far as configuring a line. You know, like here, the whitelist is, is local nets, which is actually a string. It'll, it'll match on the contents of that, so you don't have to like, define your local nets in the config framework. Um, and then the bottom one, obviously, there's no match for the whitelist, so it'll just go ahead and, and black hole route that. And like I said, you can just, here, I just I added port scan to that instead of address scan, so now we can have a list of like 20 different things in one config line, and they all have that same action take place. All right, so the logic, obviously there's still some, some, some script logic that happens in the background that's it's, it's better than it used to be. Um, but and then this whole thing can work standalone, like I showed in the config options. But when you plug that with Easy Configurator, now you have a, a UI where you can tweak the thing on all of your clusters. Uh, and so I wanted to uh, release this package <laughs> uh, and say I could be running it in production, but um, all of our dev systems are currently offline. Um, thank you for that, pg &E. Uh, and that's it. Thank you. Many thanks to all those that gave lightning talks today. See, it wasn't that hard. So next time you see that call for participation for a lightning talk, please think about um, giving one. I know. I'm letting him finish. <laughs> I don't think Dop wanted to be up there for like the last 30 seconds of this presentation.
Thanks, Dob.